Welcome to a new episode of What's Cooking? Today we'll be looking at a code contribution that actually almost was two years in the making. Back in 2023, I has only decided that it was time to create an API that makes it easier to store your data outside of Business Central, for instance, in an Azure Blob Storage, Azure File Share, or SharePoint Online. So he went ahead and created a system application module that allows you to connect to these external file storage systems. Now with 2025 Wave 1, this new system application module is ready for release. It is important to notice that there is no uptake of it yet, so the base application as such does not use it, but you as a developer can use this new API to easily store data outside of Business Central. As this is a What's Cooking uh, recording, we are mostly going to give you a teaser here, so this is not like a thorough in-depth review of the API, um, but let me just show you what this new capability looks like when it ships. So here in Business Central, if you go into File Accounts, you'll see a view that is actually familiar to you, to you maybe from uh, the email accounts. It's kind of built up in the same pattern, if you will. Um, so in here you can uh, set up a file account for blob storage, file share, or SharePoint. For the sake of this demo, let's just use blob storage. So we're going to enter a name, can be any name. Uh, then we need the storage account name of uh, the blob storage you want to connect to. In this case, it's my yes, Shows blob storage. I use the share key, which I paste in. And here I can just drill down to find my container. And that's really all it takes. Now um, we can look at file scenarios, just like we have them in email scenarios, given we only have a single uh, account. Of course, it's the default, and given there is uh, no uptake, there are no scenarios yet. All right, so now we can actually start using this. Uh, and for that, I've prepared a short a little code snippet here. Um, so we're just going to add an action uh, to which saves the order confirmation uh, on the sales order page. And we extend the file scenario enum with our scenario, which is save the order confirmation. And then the code that we need to actually um, save the file is rather simple. So first we create a PDF file that doesn't really have anything to do with this feature. We just create the file. And now what we need to store the, uh, this file is that we initialize our external files, file storage um, with our scenario. Uh, we open a file, a save file dialog to get the path where on the uh, Azure Blob Storage we want to save it. And then we invoke create file. And that is it. With this code, these two lines, um, we can now store a file outside of Business Central. So we now have the file scenario. We can say that there's the save order confirmation uh, should be stored in a blob storage. And now if we go into a sales order, we open the sales order, we can find the action that our little app introduced, which was save order confirmation. And when we invoke this action, we get the file dialog. So let's just save it in the root folder here of our blob storage and call it test. And that's it. Uh, now, when we go to file accounts and we open the new storage browser, we can see that our test PDF was put into our account, and there we have it. So that's pretty powerful stuff. Um, of course, we will be looking into uh, uptaking some of these capabilities in Business Central in the upcoming waves, but we didn't want to hold this back. Um, from you, I mean, this is ready to be used. So go ahead and enjoy this new API and store your files outside of Business Central. Thanks for listening.